I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on calculus. We have learned about derivatives of functions. We have just learned about the power rule at present. Now, based on this rule, we have few interesting questions. Here is one of the best. I have seen this in many test papers, like here, right? So, we will try to understand the concept and solve it. The question here is, the flight path of a spacecraft is represented by the parabola y equals to x square. If the engine is shut down at the point P, the spacecraft will fly off along the tangent line at P. If the spacecraft is moving from left to right, at what point should the engine be shut down in order for it to reach the point 4, 7? You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions, right? So let's sketch the scenario and understand the concept first. So let us say uh, we have x, y coordinates here. I'll sketch a parabola y equals to x square. Let's say this is a parabola y equals to x square. Right. The diagrams are good enough to solve these questions. Now the object is moving from left to right, which is spacecraft. You want to reach a point which is 4, 7, right? So let us say somewhere here 4. Now 4 squared is 16, so which is pretty high. So 7 will be somewhere in between, right? So if you have to reach there, in that case, uh, the tangent could be something like this, right? Something like this, okay. Let's say that's the point, which is 4, 7. So that's the point, right? So let's call this point as Q. Now we are interested in finding this point P where the engine should be shut off because then it will move tangentially and reach that point. That's the whole idea. Coordinates of point Q are 4, 7. Is that clear to you, right? Now I hope the situation is absolutely clear. You can pause the video and answer. Okay. Now we are given the function y equals to x squared. So the derivative of this function will be 2x. At point P, we don't know what this point is. Let this point be x value of a, right? Now if x is a, since the graph is y equals to x squared, the y value will be a squared, correct? So, so at x equals to a, the slope of this tangent will be 2a. Is that clear? So that is the slope of the tangent at p, right? So this is what it is. So we can write this as slope of tangent at p, which is a, a square. Perfect. So I hope this much is clear to you. So from the derivative, we kind of get the slope. Now, you can also find slope between P and Q using what you already know, right? Which is slope M is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Now, in this case, 4, 7 is the point where you want to reach. A, A square is the point where the engine has been shut out. So, so it is what? It is equal to 7 minus a square or you could write a square minus 7 as you wish. Let's write this as a square minus 7 over change in x value a minus 4. Now this slope is the slope of the tangent line which we have already worked out is 2a. So we get an equation which is 2a equals to a square minus 7 over a minus 4. Is that clear? Since this slope, right, 2a, should be your slope m. It's the same line. Perfect. Now we have only one variable. We can cross multiply. So we get 2a times a minus 4 equals to a square minus 7. So we get 2a square 
minus 8a equals to a square minus 7. Now bringing it to the left, we get 2a square minus 8a minus a square plus 7 equals to 0. 2a square minus a square is a square, so a square minus 8a plus 7 equals to 0. Now 7 times 1 and that makes it, so we could factor this as a minus 8 times a minus 1 equals to 0. So we get two possible solutions for a. For them to be 0, either a is equal to 8 or a is equal to 1. Okay? Since this point is before 4, it cannot be 8, right? So that is uh, redundant, right? So a equals to 8 is uh, not possible, correct? We are looking for a point before 4. So that seems to be okay. So a equals to 1 is the right point, correct? So point P should be what? 1 and 1 square. That means point P is 1, 1. Does it make sense to you? So we get our answer and that is that the engine should be shut off at point P which is 1, 1. So answer is point P coordinates are 1, 1. Is that clear to you? So that is how we are going to solve this question. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and also look into related problems in this playlist. Thanks for watching and all the best.